You know, the one thing you gotta love about No Man's Sky is it's like the gift that keeps on giving. I have never had a game that's given me this much content or had so much, like, momentum from where it started to where it is right now. I mean, this thing's gone on for years now, and it continues to progress. My name's Mac, and I know I'm romanticizing a little bit of No Man's Sky, but we're going to be covering the No Man's Sky 2.40 and 2.41 for as far as the introduction of the exosuits, which is probably going to draw me back in. I'm not going to lie. I'm probably going to run an episode or two and have fun maybe building some stuff because I really like No Man's Sky for the building aspect and just exploring. It's, I don't know, kind of one of those weird, you know, one small step, one small, like, awesome dream, but one big galactic leap for everyone. You know what I mean? It's an all shared great experience nowadays where it's finally come to fruition. Just like this, our patch notes. Looking at and the issues in the PC where it could force inside the situation of the cursor input for the edge of the screen, you can see that the issues could cause weathering in the sentinels and the activating of the numbers of the other planets and the status in the change. When you fix the situation for as far as the upgrades and the modules and the missing and the exo craft technologies, you have the shop aboard the space station fixed an Xbox only issue where it caused it each interaction to need a new button press that must have been really annoying when massive harvesting plants oh really annoying but looking at the situation where they had the VR where they made the interaction uh, to the sensitivity finally adjusting into its synchronicity pretty cool looking at the issues where they allow the beam weapons to appear inside of the config for as far as the minotaur in the vr very cool it means they're bringing it up to having more of the live experience of running around in this world of no man's sky looking at the situation where you have the numbers of missing decals in the exocraft customizers you can also see in the situation for as far as where you have the ps4 cause the exocraft not to have the customization in the it seems like pretty much almost all of that's like pretty this much the same as the last of above it's just a small details inside of the customization in the exteriors when looking at the ps4 as it makes the list a lot and preventing the living ship for as far as the plane the takeoff and the landing animation oh that's cool but i mean at least they've tried to fix it you know that, that could Place the players outside of the terrain, inside of the exiting portion of the Minotaur, inside the caves. Very annoying. It means you're probably being stuck underneath some kind of like, well, I'd like to say glitched artifact, freaking trap fall. It's it's amazing what happens when you fall below the game. But then you look at the issues that allow the exocraft to occasionally fall through the terrain. Huh? What did I just say? Oh, that's funny. Uh, but the council only crash that could occur during the landing in the exosuit for the freighters for as far as the crash related to the hiding power lines that will take us away from the four point situation of the introduction of one and now we're going to just the original exosuit of the 2.4 so let's go ahead and dive in and see exactly what this has not too shabby at the very first look. I mean, it's very cool looking mech suit. Almost reminds me of like the an Iron Man looking core too. The reason why I like this is it definitely expands the base building is what they were saying in the improvement. So I definitely like that because that was one of the things that I always struggled with with the base building and kind of wanted to give it time to come back so they can kind of polish off what's going down. And it seems like they've done awesome leaps and bounds yet again. Sean, you're killing it. You and your team. Hello, games. Nice job. As we kind of take a look a little bit of what they've done, it's pretty cool. I mean, for as far as like a reaction of like, oh, that's pretty nice. That is pretty nice. I mean, it makes the land come and come to life a little bit more as you can kind of explore in that situation. You can see it's got a little sentinel mining ray. It's pretty cool. Jetpack. Pretty neat. Now, for as far as like what's going down in the mech suits, people are just hopping around and more active environment no i want to see a battle of that mechs mech on mech that's probably where the, oh my uh that's uh <laughs> that's an amazing mech suit 
It looks like some uh, futuristic stuff I want to get into right there. But pretty neat for as far as what's being offered in No Man's Sky nowadays. As we covered a little bit into the 2.41 uh, patch notes, you have the Minotaur, and they made some nice adjustments to the VR, among other things, but you can kind of see the landscape of what we have nowadays. Can be improved as you can kind of like rock around and just pretty much just jump around, have fun, get your minerals. Don't forget to use your jetpack. Personally, for me, this would be the funnest part because I mean, that would be like realistic, especially if you had some kind of like way of like moving along with you. That'd be so interactive. This is just amazing. Look at that. Personally, I like the direct collection of valuable materials which keeps the pilot safe at all times from the hazardous materials that it's immune from so very very useful to have this minotaur as safety and defense wrap into one great burrito of tastiness and gaming exocrafts now can be in the upgrading portion of the solar panels of the recharge inside of the engine and the daylight only but that's pretty cool i mean everything's starting to come into gameplay for a lot of cooler stuff the improvement on the scanner and having other points in boosting for as far as awareness as you're traveling around inside of these exocrafts is really great. It seems like they overhauled the whole, pretty much the mechanics of a lot of what you ride on nowadays. The United Galaxy of Awesomeness. Also in the introduction of a materializer. It's almost a, like if you really think about it, it's like a 3D printer or you know, whatever you want to get as a replicator. I do like this. That's freaking amazing how the thing can just be summoned in like that. These are the decals that they fixed inside of the newer patch. Now this is crafty. I really like what they did right here. For as far as what you can go into, as you can see the options being pulled up in the video, now you can bring down your resolution scaling very easily so you're not getting like crashes and the performance and the stability is really up to you if you're needing to build stuff really fast and then kind of go back for a screenshot and bring up the resolution. So it's like your own personal, like I've never really seen a game do that. And I quite frankly, I feel like they a lot more games should because they'd be bridging the gap like this game has done for years. Now with the powering becoming more and more integration, you have more of the hidden portions of what you can get into the cloaking units. So you can kind of see where you're able to kind of build these situations and not have the wires shown, which is pretty cool. It gives a little bit more character. You have a quality of life and as far as far as several fixes inside of the bases and the quick portions of the space anomalies now are being able to come in a little bit faster. Now with the convenience of the patch notes that they have listed and I'll have down below, there is a lot of highlights that they got into. From the Minotaur and the adding portions of which you can look down in the hot list of what's being detailed from the upgrades and technologies, to the situation of the modules that can be found in the technology merchants inside of the space stations and the local portions of what you can vend. Now looking at as far as the exosuit and the hazard changes, there's a ton to be actually had as you get more adaptable portions of what you can get. With pushing on past what you have the exosuit technologies, again another fuel system has been added into the integration of what you can get into the technologies just like solar as we kind of branched into and a lot of these I'm going over vastly because it's just a simple portion of what we already kind of looked at together as it kind of scrolled down I've done these patches well enough to know that this is kind of just a nice literature portion of what we just saw visually up above which is pretty cool I like how they mix both of those for people that are more visual learners or for more a, a you know let me go ahead and see here what well, you're sure here you can combine both there's so many ways to learn you know visual hearing written all those are combined forces of knowledge uh, but looking on past that there is a lot to be said of the exocraft quality and life and other fixes that they have listed down below there uh, one of the more important things that I kind of noticed was the graphical improvements for as far as the GTAO and the improvement portions of what you can do in the rendering. A lot of stuff came into gameplay for as far as that. And again, you can reference a lot of these that we're just kind of scrolling down and you can kind of see where the base and the uh, quality of that life has uh, been improved. Now the bug fixes is where I'm more liking to like see what exactly happened is because that's the meat and bones of what's actually been kind of like milled over besides the issues that have been addressed that if you want to dive into that those highlights we kind of went over, you can go back to those hot topics. 
Now looking at the bug fixes that came into the prevented an AI ship where it was ever landing on a player's owned landing pad, not a good situation, especially if you're trying to get back to your base and maybe it's floating and now you're not. Now looking at the issues where the translation in the new galaxy caused it to be entirely white. So it's a white canvas you can't really see inside the situation. Now looking at the prevented portions of the blaze javelin were it being from cycled while cooling down the increased distance which the damaged freighter and the icon and the displayed on the ship hud and the compass it added the timeout sequence for as far as the start and the nexus portion of the mission and that it discouraged players from the afk on board of the anomaly after reading or getting like the ready up button with a closer look at that situation of the extended time during the week missions and the active 9 a.m. GMT on Monday, so make sure that they have an extended portion of time on that situation for you to kind of grind, added the additional graphics from the warning and the low hazard protection on the life support. As far as the situation and the fixed issues in the uh, diplomatic freighters to award the unit as a substance rather than directly, then looking at the fixed an issue with the trails on certain royal ships not leaning up correctly or lining up correctly in that matter or as far as with the ship's engine not a good situation for an engine block now looking at the situation for as far as the graphic glitches that occurred when warping into the starship on top of the graphic issues that afflicted the uh, byte bit envelope for the rendering on the consoles for as far as the improved and readiness and the reliability and the currency, um, the readout and the borrowing tech trees, the added recovery fix for as far as players who lost their void eggs after they come back through the portals at the end of the Starbirth quest, the fixed raised a rare crash for as far as the lighting systems. The issue caused an audio environment to be set incorrectly while inside of the Atlas stations. Also inside of there, the armored clams could be destroyed with the terrain manipulator. Oh, damn. That, that was uh, kind of a bummer. You could probably get those things really fast. Or as far as the weekend events and the missions that could sometimes particularly become encrypted in the descriptions at the Nexus, as well as the players in the modules that sometimes inherently their scale and their ships and the accent graphs. Which brings us here. When you go to No Man's Sky, it always brings you right over there to the linkable portions we'll all have down below. So if you are new to the network and you are joining for the first time or you're just returning and you're waiting for me to patch this through, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys and gals in the near future. And if you subscribe today, who knows? Maybe I, well, well, you know what would be kind of cool, actually, is if I built, like, some really cool thing in, like, No Man's Sky. You should subscribe today. Maybe I might do that. But who knows? I have a lot of things that I actually built that I actually need to go back to to see if they're not destroying an environment or what's changed. And see if the environment changed. Because actually through patches, that usually happens. So all of a sudden, you'll have one really beautiful planet, and then it changes again. But that that's No Man's Sky life. You gotta live that thug life. Things change. You just gotta get used to it. But... All right, everyone, you have a very nice day, and I will see you guys and gals in the near future. And thank you so much for your time.